All right, happy Monday, everybody. This is a lesson for both the Connect students and the B-Day Math 1 students on using the midpoint formula. So what we're going to do is start with what we did on Friday, which was um, we did our fencing project. And then part of that fencing project was for you to find the midpoint between uh, the trees and to put a gate in between your trees at the midpoint. So most of you did very well with your estimations of where the midpoint would be because that's what I asked you to do. But there is a mathematical way that you can find the midpoint between two points on the coordinate plane. And that's what we're going to go over today. It's called the midpoint formula. So if we look here at, uh, at this particular diagram of the house with the trees, and the fence and the gates. Let's look at tree number one and tree number two. And what we're going to do is take the ordered pair for tree number one, and that's going to be our x1 and y1. So my x coordinate for tree number one was 100, and my y coordinate for tree number one was zero. And then my x coordinate for tree number two was 40 and my y-coordinate was negative 80. Okay, so what we're going to do then is this m equals x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This is what we call the midpoint formula. So wherever you have your distance formula written down, I would write the midpoint formula right next to it and make sure I don't lose it because you are going to need it again. So what I do then is this is nothing more than an average of, of the points. You add the two points together and divide it by two. So in this particular problem, my x1 is 100 and my x2 is 40. So I just substitute them in right like that. And my y1 is 0 and my y2 is a negative 80, so I just substitute them in right like that. So 100 plus 40 is 140, and 0 plus a negative 80 is a negative 80. So 140 divided by 2 is going to be 70, and negative 80 divided by 2 is a negative 40. So we see that the midpoint between tree number 1 and tree number 2 is at 70, negative 40. So if we look at this particular drawing, we see that it was at 70, negative 40. Okay? So let's look at the midpoint between tree number 2 and tree number 3. So again, my x1 and y1 are going to be 40, negative 80. So I'll come over here, and we're going to have 40 and negative 80 as my x1 and my y1. And then my x2 and my y2 would be negative 40 and negative 120. Whoa, pressed the wrong tab. Okay, so those are my two points. So again, using my midpoint formula of m equals the average of both points, just add them together and divide by 2. I'm going to have 40 plus a negative 40 divided by 2. And I'm going to have a negative 80 plus a negative 120. All that divided by 2. So negative 40 plus 40 is 0. So 0 divided by 2 is going to be 0. Then negative 80 plus a negative 120 is a negative 200. So then when I divide a negative 200 divided by 2, I get 0, negative 100. So again, if I come over here, we see here that he counted down 10, and we have that one correct at the 0, negative 100. Okay? 
So that's what the midpoint is. So if I were to give you, say, another ordered pair of 2, 8, and then 4, 16, all right, same thing, x1 plus x2, and y1 plus y2. So 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2, and then I have 24 divided by 2. So that's going to be 3, 12. So again, that would mean my midpoint between those two points could be found at 3, 12. So that's all there is to the midpoint formula. So what I want you to do today is on your Canvas page, there's what I call a person puzzle about Mia Hamm. And it's got 10 questions on there, uh, all midpoint formula questions. Please make sure you show your work. Please make sure you show your work so I can make sure that you understand this. If you have any questions, I'll be up on Google Meet between 1045 and 1145 this morning. All right, have a great day, and I'll have something else for you tomorrow.